The death certificate Mike Stones has for his 12-year-old daughter Emma states that if her hospital treatment had been better, it's likely she would have survived. Emma, who had cerebral palsy, died from blood poisoning caused by an infection. Staff at Tameside General Hospital failed to adequately check and monitor her condition as she deteriorated. You're playing Russian roulette with people's lives. Absolutely destroyed me. Destroyed the family. It's just a life sentence. And how do you, what do you do when you go to a place? You take it for granted. This is the best place for your daughter to be. Tameside General Hospital apologised for what it called errors of judgment in Emma's treatment. Today it became one of the hospitals placed into special measures. Examples of poor care included a patient with the superbug C. difficile being put on an open ward, leaving other patients at risk of a potentially fatal infection. In a separate incident, a patient was given penicillin despite telling staff that they were allergic to the drug. And during an unannounced visit to the hospital, a trainee with just two years' experience was the most senior surgical doctor on duty. From the newly installed chief executive here, words of reassurance for families like Emma's. As a mother myself, I can absolutely have sympathy with the experience that they must have encountered here at this hospital, and I can only but apologise. But I really want to assure them that I will do, along with the board, everything possible to ensure that we actually do improve the quality of care provided at this hospital. For Mike, improvements can't come a day too soon. We knew that Emma was a victim of absolutely really terrible treatment and if something's done to readdress it for benefit of future patients, then that's the only comfort we can have. Emma's family say stories like hers must be a turning point for the whole NHS. Peter Lane, 5 News.